It's me, B Mariah. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my mascara techniques, how I apply my mascara, and all of my tips and tricks so that way you guys too can get full, long, and glamorous natural eyelashes. As you can see, I have pretty full, natural, thick lashes, and they tend to have a little bit of a curl to them. They don't grow straight. I know a lot of people that is a big complaint for them. If you have that problem, of course, there are eyelash curlers that you could use prior to applying your mascara. However, I personally do not like to use eyelash curlers. I've heard plenty of horror stories of people's lashes ripping out. Yes, it's pretty crazy. Not only that, but the more you do to your natural lashes, the less full they stay. So I try not to put false lashes, eyelash extensions, eyelash curlers. I try to stay away from those things altogether, and that is why I believe that my natural lashes do tend to stay pretty full. With that being said, depending on your lashes, you can use an eyelash curler if you prefer, but a trick that I would say is a little bit less harsh on your lashes, if you just simply use your finger and look down so that your lashes are pressed up against your finger and just hold it there for a little while. As you can see, it naturally curls the lashes instead of using something like this which has a tendency to pull on your lashes. I know a lot of people ask me what mascara do I use and to be honest with you, the mascara that I use is actually a sample. As you can see, it has no name on it. This is a sample mascara that I have been debating. Uh, to carry in my own line, DNA Cosmetics. If you have not checked it out, I will leave it down below in the link so you guys can check out the website. At the end of the day, it all depends on the brush itself. This brush is not plasticky. It actually has bristles, but they are firm. I'm sorry that it is a little hard for this to focus. I'm not sure if you can see it that well. It has a slight curve in the brush, but I have used several different mascaras. This one is Maybelline from CVS Walgreens Drugstore. Very similar in the brushes. I would say this one's a little bit thicker, but to be honest with you, I can use any mascara and still get beautiful lashes. So the point I'm trying to make here is that no matter the mascara, it's all about the technique that you use. Mascara can go a long way to really make your eyes and your face just look much brighter and awake. One of my biggest pet peeves is when I see people take their mascara and they literally take this out and go in and out with it. Please do not ever do that because that dries your mascara out 10 times faster. Every time that you take the brush in and out, you're letting oxygen back into your tube of mascara which of course dries it out very fast. It's okay to take your mascara and go from side to side, such as this, to get more mascara on your brush. There are some people that like to brush a little bit off. If your mascara is newer, I would recommend that because it's probably a little too cakey on your bristles. But mine is not new, so it's good to go. Now, to begin, I always like to first just run my mascara on the top of my lashes so that it gives it an extra coat. Now, going underneath, you want to take your bristles and literally put it at the base of your lashes, all the way at the bottom, and wiggle it slowly up. What a difference that makes. Already getting your lashes nice and even and long. From here, I like to go on the outer corner. I like to use the tip of the brush. And don't worry if I just mess up that little mascara on my on my lid. As I said, just taking the tip of the brush to really brush those outer hairs up and out. As you can see, I have not dipped my brush back in. I'm still keeping going 
and I'm wiggling my wand from side to side. And then as I approach the outer corners, I'm using the tip of my brush. What a difference that is, and that is just one coat. I do like to do probably one to two coats, nothing crazy, but on my second coat, you want to make sure that if you are applying a second coat, go in before the mascara dries, because if you go in when it's already dry for a second coat, you're then gonna get very clumpy mascara. So as you can see, I dipped it back in, going for a second coat. Same technique as before. On these inner lashes, you can also use the inner corner to really brush these upward and really get in there. And voila, what a difference. For my bottom lashes, you want to obviously redip your wand into your mascara, but you want to tilt your head slightly downward so that way it's easier for you to put the wand on the lashes without getting it onto your skin. So with that being said, for the bottom lashes, it's the exact same technique. I start from the base and I wiggle my way down. I also use the end of my brush and it is a little clumpy on the end of the brush, but I like that because I like a lot of volume on my bottom lashes. If you don't, or if you feel that there's too much on the actual wand, you can go ahead and wipe some of the excess off before applying your mascara. So, as you can see, if I'm just going like this, it's normal because the wand is facing the same way. However, I always have to turn my hand awkwardly. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm literally reaching across my face and going like this because this is technically the same way opposite that I hold it on the other side. So, holding it like this can be difficult for your first time, but if you practice a few times, it's not as bad as it seems. But I will be going back and forth between this and this, this and this. Keep up. Wow, what a difference mascara can make. Remember that it's not so much about the mascara as it is the technique. So be sure that when you're applying your mascara that you take your time and that you really go through making sure everything is even. And in order to do that, you must work with wet product. You cannot try and make your mascara unclumpy when your mascara is already dry and clumpy. You want to work with it while it's still wet. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please, as always, let me know what you guys would like to see for future videos. Of course, I would love your guys' feedback. Thank you to those of you who actually do comment on my videos. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys next Tuesday. Mwah.